Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Kevin. We're going to talk to you about music-related graphic designs. That we really enjoy looking at with our eyeballs. The first piece that we will be focusing on is a poster that was included in Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits record. And it looks like this. This is a graphic design created by Milton Glaser. Milton Glaser was born in 1929 and was an American graphic designer. He went to the school. He went to school at the High School of Music and Art and the Cooper Union Art School in New York. He was a co-founder of the New York Magazine along with Clay Felker, which was started in 1968. And then in 1974, he founded Milton Glaser, Inc. And in 1983, he and Walter Bernard made the publication design for WBMG. And lastly, he received the Lifetime Achievement Award from from the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. Anyway, this poster uses elements of visual organization such as line, color, and contrast. It shows Bob Dylan. And the metaphor is Bob Dylan is awesome. Which isn't actually a metaphor. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. The piece was compared. <laughs> the piece we are comparing it to is Pink Floyd's album cover, The Dark Side of the Moon, otherwise known as one of the best albums ever created by man. I agree with Supposedly, Kevin totally. Which totally isn't true. Yep. The album cover for Dark Side of the Moon was done by the graphic designer George Hardy. George Hardy was born in 1944. He's a graphic designer and illustrator, and he's most well known for designing album covers. Some of his most famous album covers are from Led Zeppelin's debut album, Led Zeppelin. Uh, the Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd and Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. And he taught graphic design at the University of Brighton's Faculty of Arts. Oh, it shows the color prism that bends light. Both pieces use line to guide the eye through them. And both use color schemes. Crazy color schemes. I really like uh, both of them because of the line that is used and how it draws the line through the piece. The line in the color of Bob Dylan's hair in the poster is really interesting and the contrast between the face and the background of the poster makes everything stand out and leads your eye through the piece. Think of rebirth with the use of the white lines changing and forming into the beautiful colors coming out of the other end of the prism.